if you are a California resident, you're probably like my man Larry. He's living in San Jose, and he wants to invest out of state, wants to stretch his money as far as it can go. Plus, I mean, it's San Jose, California, folks. It's it's insane out there, right? It's like woke culture is like destroyed normal capitalistic freedom type beliefs. It's a mess, right? Oh, 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 oh California, oh, dislike it. But it's okay if you're leaving California. You're not alone. You're just like Larry, and you're leaving to find cash flow real estate in good markets. One of those markets is Cleveland, and Larry, we're gonna do a deep dive into that market and an amazing property. Right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise and I help you invest in Cleveland. I help you run numbers on deals in Cleveland. I help you do property management in Cleveland. And today I got a beautiful one here, right? Nice side-by-side -side duplex. By the way, I've said Cleveland. I help you do property management in Cleveland, construction in Cleveland, leasing in Cleveland, brokerage services in Cleveland. But what I really mean is the greater Cleveland area, right? Because this one's not in the city of Cleveland. It's Lorraine, right? We work the whole Northeast Ohio area, and actually, I believe Lorraine is actually more attractive than the city of Cleveland. I think they're more landlord-friendly. Uh, those pesky new lead paint regulations, which if you've never heard of those, uh, they're going on in Cleveland right now as we speak, and I have a video explaining that entire process uh, below, so check that out. Uh, but those pesky regulations don't have to deal with them in Lorraine, and guess what? If for some reason Lorraine decided eventually you do need to deal with them, you won't need to deal with them on this house because this house is brand new when it comes to investment properties comparatively. <laughs> it's built in 79. Lead paint was uh, made illegal in Ohio in 78. And for those of you out there who are like, dude, 79, that's old, bro. Nah. Not when it comes to investing in Northeast Ohio, folks. Most duplexes in Northeast Ohio Built like 1920, right? A lot of them are about 100 years old. So 1979, whoo, that means the main stack going under your yard. A lot newer, right? Like 50 years newer. Uh, electrical wiring, 50 years newer, right? Here's a little tidbit. I'm sure a lot of you don't know this. Uh, knob and tube wiring that gets installed in the 20s. Yeah, it's still present in like 95% of those houses out here in Cleveland, right? This one, not so much, okay? Uh, galvanized piping throughout the house, right? Galvanized uh, stuff, not going to have it here either, right? So there's some inherent benefits to getting newer stock, right? So this is one of the newest properties. So it's very nice, but you will pay a little bit of a premium for that, but that's okay because this thing's going to make money, man. 1405 New Jersey Avenue, Lorraine, Ohio. Just hit the market. 167. I don't think you could get it for 167. We're going to be aggressive because this is probably one of the nicer assets. It's definitely the nicest duplex in the entire city of Lorraine, which I love, man. They got two new uh, naval bases uh, getting installed out there, right? That's like, I don't know, three, four, five thousand jobs somewhere in there. Now that might not sound like uh, an amazing amount of jobs, but folks, when you're looking at like a like a low population size city such as this right it's it's not like new york city there's not like eight million people here right it's small population city right well under a hundred thousand okay well under a hundred thousand that's that's a lot of jobs okay uh and more jobs equals more demand more demand equals higher prices in the future more appreciation in the future right so i think we should bid 170 what we're gonna get is market rents two tenants paying nine and a quarter 1850 a month 22.2 for the year course you don't get to keep that folks you got to factor in fixed variable expense estimates i've managed thousands of tenants so i could tell you a reasonable estimation of performance when all things are considered is a little bit over eleven thousand. if you bought it for 170 you're only putting down 42 and a half banks kicking in 127 man that's why i love real estate man the bank pays for three-fourths of the pie and then the tenants pay off the loan it's beautiful should project out to a cash cash on cash return long term 11 percent but you got to think when comparing this to other assets all that stuff i talked about about it being newer yeah that's going to help right it's going to help right you're going to trend on the better end of these estimates right in addition 
tenants do not move out of really nice stuff like this, right? Especially when you get the side-by-side -side versus the up-down. To further prove that evidence, I gave you the market rents. This is a double-edged sword here, right? Uh, on the bad, good news, bad news sandwich coming your way, right? On the bad side, uh, there's not actually tenants paying market rent yet, okay? On the good side, the tenants that are currently there are paying a decent chunk, and guess what? They've been there 10 years, right? Uh, They're paying 750 and six and a quarter. So we want to slowly move them up, right? What we don't want to do is remove them. I'll tell you this: if landlord A is over here and he's got a dude paying 750 and he lives there for 10 years, right? He's probably going to stay, right? Looks like, let's say you get 20 years out of that tenant at 750, and then landlord B over here is getting nine and a quarter, but he's changing out his tenant every two years. Who do you think is going to make more money? It's landlord A, right? Uh, and you get that by having nice new housing stock. You get that by having side-by-side -side versus up-down. Both these tenants actually get uh, their own garage, right? You each get one side of the garage or whatever, right? These are all valuable things, right, that will help reduce your turnover. And when you reduce your turnover, obviously you increase the amount of rent you actually collect. You reduce your eviction costs. You actually reduce your uh, repairs and maintenance. The majority of your repairs and maintenance actually comes uh, from the turnovers, right? Like pull up the chart again. In here you see I got you uh, saving, right, 1100 or so a year for repairs and maintenance. But like and then it's like the monthly breakdown is 92. I think a lot of new investors out there think that like, oh, you're going to see like $92 charges every month or something. No, that's not how it is. You're going to see like nothing for a very long time. And then, bam, you're going to get like a $5,000 turnover, right? So the fewer turnovers you get over the course of your ownership, much better that your property is going to do. And then last thing, the other thing I like about this house is it's a 3-2, right? Each unit is a 3-2. More often than not, when you're in the Cleveland market, you're looking at up-down duplexes that have two beds and one bath. This one, side-by-side, -side, 50 years newer, extra bath per unit, extra bedroom per unit, garage space per tenant. This thing, it's got all the intangibles, right, that maybe don't necessarily reflect on our charts here. But I can tell you from experience, from dealing with all types of tenants, all types of properties, that this one is one I really, really want you to move on. This one is a really good one to keep in your portfolio for the long haul. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.